tree hugging redneck here with my brother Jeff and DJ Spindle. And we're out going out to uh, Lake Mead this morning. We'll see about we slaying some uh, some striped bass. So we'll see how it goes. Fish report looks good. Weather's decent. A little cold, not too bad. We got a boat. Yeah, we got a boat. We got the boat. <laughs> Time to go. Cool. Something like that. So, being from Texas, things are big. I forgot how, how big they like their Mountain Dews and in uh, the Mormon Belt. <laughs> so, got uh, got lots of lots of awesome food, and we got some anchovies. I'm here with, again. DJ Spindle, my bro, his daughter Dorothy, and mm -hmm. we're yeah. we're gonna be taking this bad boy out into the water. See how it goes. Got the boat in the water, and uh, here. so here it's what about I don't know five o'clock. Got the boat in the water, and man, the water is really low. That's pretty cool though. Look how clear it is. Yeah, it looks like sand. It's cool looking. Alright, it's starting the sun's starting to come up. Yeah. Say hey Jeff. Hey. This is gonna be awesome. Got a good feeling. Yeah, me too. Got a good feeling. It's gonna be a good day. So update, we tried some early fishing in the morning, so it's some baits, no luck. The, uh, now we're doing some trolling, let's check it out. Got a Rapala swim bait out about 100 yards, and he's got something else on his, about 50 yards or so. Look how pretty it is though. Water's like glass, it's so nice. Look at that. Incredibly clear too. And you can see the all this is normally underwater, that, that line out there. It's probably what, maybe 100 feet or so, 100 foot up. up. It's about this the normal water level, so way, way, way down. I haven't seen Dorothy yet. Hey, Dorothy. 
This is my niece. And yeah, so we're having a good time. Oh, but it's a beautiful day. And uh, any day fishing is better than any other day doing anything else. So. Alright, y'all. So, uh, we haven't really caught much today. It's still, it's still pretty early. But I want to show you we're over uh, by the Hoover Dam, so. Kids, we probably would have jumped off that. Finally got one. Don't hey, know what it is yet. It's not in the boat yet. It's gonna be a smaller one. It's gonna be a cat. You think it's catfish? Oh yeah, no, it's definitely a cat. Nice. 90 feet down. 90 feet. Oh geez. All right. Yeah, it's definitely a cat. It doesn't have that much struggle. Nice. Oh yeah, a little. Ooh, little, get it? Cat. Hey, no, that's blue. a good sized cat. All yeah, right, blue cat. Definite... Blue catfish. Hot oh, dang. Right. Good goodness. job. All right. <laughs> Grab the net in there, please. We've been fishing since 5.30. It's what, wow. now 1.30, 2 o'clock? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> Gosh. Were you using the hot dogs? No, I was using the nice. king. Danny King's? Yeah. Heck yeah, Daddy that's King's what's up, man. Danny King's again. stink bait. No, the other one, the bigger one. All right, in the boat. Nice. Actually counts. Nice. I wanted to catch one to begin with. Alright, this is the beginning of a beautiful day. It's gonna happen now. Got good feelings. Alright, here we go. Check it out. First fish of the day. Alright. It's first of the year. First fish first fish of the year. It's only November. Alright. Number one. I just got one and Oh, got another one. Got another cat right there. Dorothy's up. Don't pull it over the boat. Oh, wait, wait. Gotta get the net. All right, Dorothy, yeah. Nope. Give us some slack. Give us some slack. Huh? Yeah, man. That's a good one. All right. In the boat. All right. It's, it's two. Well, it's three now. Yeah, we got one right one right after the other. So I, fin I, I landed mine as soon as I got mine in the net. His started pulling. No one's out, and there's two. Alright. He doesn't want to be in that net. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Did you swallow it? Did it? Or oh. did... <laughs> it's oh. a crappy knot, dude. <laughs> okay. Jeremy needs to learn how to tie knots for fishing. <laughs> that was a blood knot. It was a something knot. That was a good one. Yeah, a good one where it just automatically right, came off. Yeah. Alright, check it out. Don't drop it in the water. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You'll get, you get some. Ooh, that is a good one. Oh, dang. Ooh, that's a that's the biggest one yet. All right, you got it. Pretty sweet. That's a good one. That's the that's the biggest one yet. No, nah, I don't think it is. <laughs> well, it took him took him a little longer to get it off this time. Look at this. That's a pretty good one. It's a good size one. Pick it up. Let's see it. I'm working on it. Yeah. Gotta get, gotta get a good scale. Yeah. But 
without getting stung. Yeah, don't say hello. What's up, dinner? All right, in the bucket. Here we go. Yep, in the bucket. All right. Dorothy's got one on. First fish of the year for Dorothy. All by herself. All by her lonesome. That's a good one. And they're hot right now. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Bring this way. Nice. Good job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so just going out to get the the truck. We got back to the dock. All right, and uh, had a great day. We got about nine, I think, is where we're at. We'll show it to you here in a minute, but uh, yeah, fun day at Lake Mead. Who wants to throw a gang sign? Three signs. What's up? There you go. <laughs> All right, so Dorothy is my niece. Um, it's Jeff's daughter. What was your favorite part of the day? Uh, when I caught the fish. When you caught the fish? Yeah. How long's it been? Huh? How long's it been since you caught a fish? Uh, like over a year. A year? Yeah. It's a pretty bad dry spell. That's all right. Got it done today, right? Yeah. But we're going to go home and, and clean them up, and we're going to have fish fry tonight. So, all kinds of exciting. All right, so what happened, Jeff? Well, the magnets didn't work. After Stupid I magnets. go from California to here and everywhere else, the Magnus decided, nope, not today, Batman, not today. So they went skipping down the road for fun. Yeah, so it took us a while to get off of the dock, and so we got to get some... Oh, look at that. That's there you go. There you go. an extension. All right, yeah, we got to get home, so we got to get this in before we can get home. So, uh, yeah, got some magnetic ones. We'll wire those down to this here end of the boat. Hopefully they reach and okay. he'll figure it out just a an electrician for us for the the navy or he was an electrician for the navy so now he's a recruiter so hey if anybody wants to join this is your man live in the, in the las vegas area and you you got to be really committed though because he'll probably try to talk you out of it <laughs> all right finally got it fixed now we can head home Go. All right, time to. Late night, but got back to mom's house. Got our frozen catfish. Our icy, icy beasts. One. Got two. No, we don't know whose is whose except for this big one. I know it's Jeff's. No, oh, that's Jeremy's. No, it's Jeff's. See, one of the Which big one? ones is mine. The biggest, well, the fattest one is Jeff's. Oh, I guess that one is mine. That one's Dorothy's. There you go. Oh, that's the first Three. one I can't remember. Oh, there's still more in there. What's that? I said there's still more in there. I forgot. Yeah, keep going. Four. That's five. Six. This is, this is the fat beast. This is Jeff's fat beast. Mm -hmm. L.F.A. Junior. Right there. Gonna be some right. big catfish tonight. That's right. You know, put this bad boy up so drain out. Yep. Drain in the boat and I'll take care of it later. There you go. So great. Right. <laughs> These new sardines. Yep. Back in here. Don't forget they're there. No, I won't. Or I will. I'll chum <laughs> with them. Like, what the heck is that smell? Oh, I'll chum with it later. It'll be stinky stinky. <laughs> That's right. Alright. Alright, hopping out. Gonna get a record. Yeah. <laughs> gonna record me falling out of the boat? Only if you fall. <laughs> yeah, no right. wheel wells. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, I thought you were gonna dump the fish. <laughs> no way. All right. All right. Jefe right. dropped off the boat. This is his sweet uh, Indian. We got a. Six of them. Or six? five, five of them. Yeah. This is my brother in law, Don. Hey, hi, Don. Hi! <laughs> he All came right. down from Idaho. It's my sister Amy's husband. Oh, yeah, he's gonna. On, you're online with somebody? No, you're uh, doing, doing a video. video. Oh, doing a video. Yeah. 111, it's six, 700 pounds, something like that. It's your knees that Oh, big, looks you? good on you, oh, man. No, you're good? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and hit start. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs>
sand down. Watch him wreck it. <laughs> it's your baby, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a beauty. You want to see a grown man cry? Watch what happens if he lays it down. <laughs> All right, he made it back. That was that was rushed. It's been like. How do you go to neutral? I don't know. It's like, yeah. It, yeah, you want to pay attention to that. Let's turn the light on this, here. When you came almost to a stop and then when they left, after yeah. that, I was like, okay. And I was like, all right. Then I was like, yeah, it's a nice bike. It's well, just I baby. haven't rode a bike in, let's see, <laughs> when's the last time I rode a bike? It's been, it's been 30 years. Wow. That was, uh, it's fun to do. That was marvelous, man. Well, now I know you know how to ride it. You can do it whenever you want. The only difference is I just <laughs> you got all kinds of excited. The only difference I just not like to know if you're losing the point. I'm like expecting you back. Well, I was I seconds. wasn't going to. But I thought the only the only gear you've got in the park is one, well maybe two. Yeah. So you made it through all six? six? I don't know. I went four. All right. It, it comes back quick. Is what I what I just realized. Is it oh, he's still alive. Is he? Well, El Jefe is going to. Uh, Show us his technique for knocking the sides off a of catfish. Right. So he's gonna get he's gonna get first hit, first try, and then I'm gonna show him how it's really done. You know what? Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you how it's done, and then you gotta practice. So oh, I'll do okay. one, and you can do six. Oh, that work? Okay. Is that how that works? Yeah, that's how I it need works. Seven examples if you're gonna show me how to do something. No, it's no, you're times. you're a quick study. Well, you should kill him first. Well, he is dead. He's <laughs> if he's not dead, he's gonna be dead here in a second. Okay, what you do is you go underneath the dorsal fin and make a slit, come up the back, it's right about there, and then you go right down here. Don't forget this fin, you gotta go around it. Alright. Right, and then you're just gonna go straight on down here as far as you can go. All the way okay. down. Okay. You're gonna make sure this is good once again. I don't think I went deep enough. Again, around the floor, thin. Yeah, the thing is with the catfish right. is it's uh, got that real tough skin, so you got yeah. a real sharp knife. Yeah, fillet knives, these are really good, whatever brand they are. The old yeah. fish things. Yeah, they're, you get them at Walmart for like 12 bucks, but that's the best fillet fly knife I've so ever you used. You see how it got into the lung a little bit? But that's okay, I don't care. Yeah. Okay, now so, where did you learn now, to do, do catfish? Oh, I've. All right, show us how. All, all sorts of places. That you can go a little bit more into the head if you want. Yeah, you get some head don't. meat. Yeah. Uh, the other thing you just do, believe it or not, there's two ways that you can do it. You can either start the tail and work your way up, or vice versa. I think I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to do it this way. So, down the tail, right? Yeah. There's a little yep. bit of meat doing it this way, but I don't feel comfortable on camera. It's not like you're you out do, of meat. You got what, you're just going to slowly. Yeah, that's like a, it's a slab, dude. Yeah, it's a slab. He's a little squirmish. That dude's looking at me thinking it's my fault. <laughs> it is your fault. You were there with us. That's right. If you were there with us, it wouldn't be your fault. That's I don't know right. how it works, but well, I'm cool with it. Now, the idea to do is to go down his down yeah. his uh, spine yeah. and along the cage there. Uh -huh. Get as much meat as you can. Just take it nice and slow. Mm -hmm. And then the more you go down, the better the piece. Of course, the upper part is going to be the more meaty. Yep, and the catfish got that big old rib cage. Yep, and you, I can start filling it there. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just going to go like that, and you're going to trim it out until it's all done, and then you're going to do a sight cut, and then you're going to flip them over and do the same thing. Nine miles. If you're flaying, don't do it in the dark, please. <laughs> Wait, you need light? Yeah, just a little yeah, bit. What kind of a fisherman are you? light hung out here, Jack. Huh? You're blocking the light, Don. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh yeah. There you go, that's a good slab. Yeah. Not uh, the best work I've done, but I'll, I'll that's do That's alright. That's all you do. And then on the other part, this is the best part. I'm gonna do it and do backwards on this now. Cutting away from me. There you go. You get the rest of it.
Yeah, slap that over, yeah, bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, now I'm actually getting skinned the way I'm supposed to. Because mm -hmm. I did it backwards, my bad. That has a lot of blood on that catfish. <laughs> I know, I hit into a vein when I was doing it, so. Well, normally they just don't, not that bloody. That's I think maybe catfish. he's not quite as dead as I thought he was. What are you talking about? You don't, yeah. you don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we go. There That's go. the skin. And yeah, mom said you, we could use this here bowl. All right, so there it is. I got a little carried yeah. away there on the chunk size. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's going to make a good seven nuggets or seven. Oh, that's, a, that's just a big, nice fillet. Yeah, right that's there. a. Do you want, if you like fillets, so there's two ways of cooking, and we'll go over that in a minute. But you can do the fillets, or I like to do it in nuggets, and I'll show you here, that in a You don't want to cross this because that's all the guts. So when you throw this guy after you do the other side, you don't have to cut yeah. up anything. Yeah, so when you're done, you just throw the rest of it away. Just yep. knock the sides off, throw it away. Uh, All right. So he learned through experience. I learned from uh, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> so I will show you. Well, and I gained experience after I, after I learned how to do it from YouTube. So my thing with the catfish, and I'll show you in a minute, but when, well, on the second side, because catfish are so, like, flat, they don't want to lay on their side. Right. And so once you knock off the first side, it's really hard to keep them on, this, on their side so you can actually get the meat off the second side. See on some of these? You're right, you can see through them. So. Yeah, and some of these big catfish, a lot of times, like, I don't know if this one's quite big enough, but they'll get in here and cut this belly meat out. Yeah. And they'll cut a, a big fillet out of that. It's got a lot, if you're living in a place that's got a lot of mercury and stuff, you don't want to do that because that's where a lot of mercury is. But on clean water... Uh, or, or you can also use it as uh, as bait. I wish you guys could see this, but if you hold up the fish right, no, the light. Maybe, oh, can yeah. you kill it that light for a second? I can try. Hang on a second. Right. Let's see. If you fillet it right, oh, you yeah. can see right through it. Because you got as much meat, that's all bone. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's not quite, not, not a lot of uh, waste on that. Yeah, <laughs> so I was down in uh, down in uh, Galveston, Texas, and caught some fish, mm -hmm. and uh, I forgot my fillet knife, oh, and so I borrowed someone's knife, and it was they were like, yeah, it's a fillet knife. It totally wasn't a fillet knife, and uh, it it was a massacre. I felt so bad. I wasted so much meat on that thing, but it's really important to get a get a decent bendy knife the, the thing that makes fillet knives special is that they're bendy they, they bendy. got a lot of a lot of movement so you can really get down in there yeah, I, I didn't on the first no that was a good one just good so and this is pretty pretty common right get a little bit of extra you just got to trim up any piece of meat you got to trim it up so catfish are pretty good if they're real big you can want to cut some of the fat off of them but uh, this one yep, not pretty bad. good all right now so we need a trash bag Yep, and then uh, this is, uh, that was one fish. So we're gonna swap out camera and I'm gonna show them how it's really done. Like okay. I said, no Ready cheating on the no small cheating. one. I'm gonna get the, get, get the big one, all right. Not the biggest so, one, but the big one. Yeah, cause you got the biggest one. <laughs> That's typical, right? All right, let's see what he does so, different. All right, here's a little bit, a little bit of backstory here. So Jeff and I have been fishing our whole lives. Like we grew up in Southern Idaho and uh, just, Cat or not cat, there's trout everywhere. You can like just everywhere. We come out, we go out fishing every day. Well, it seems like every day. And we just go out and play in the woods and make sure we had our fishing pole. We find streams and ponds, stuff. And we got so many fish. My, my mom loves fish, which I remember one time she said, like, guys, don't bring me any more fish. I can't eat them. <laughs> and so it was, it was cool. But, um, so a little bit another backstory here. Uh, the reason I'm down here in Las Vegas, um, I love my family. Uh, so, but I, and I love to visit them, but I don't get to do it very often. The reason I'm down here is because my dad just had open heart surgery, and um, it, he's like the. How many catfish you took? Uh, we got seven. Seven. Yeah, and I'll fight anybody he says otherwise. But he's the best man in the world. So, um, but he doesn't know how to cut. He <laughs> doesn't know how to skin a catfish. So when we were kids, um, we caught our first catfish. He taught us how to, or he told us how to do it. And his version of doing it is to. Find a board, get a six inch spike, put a spike right there, nail it to the board, and then use a fillet knife to cut the skin around the gills, and then take pliers and just tear the skin off. And we did that for way too long. 
<laughs> way too long. Jeff and I both did. And he, uh, through experience and, and, and doing it, he learned how to do it. And a big shout out here to Robert Ar Arrington, uh, Jeremy Fudner. He's the one who taught me how to do this. Not in person, though that would have been freaking rad. All right, so the way we, that I do this. <clears throat> All right, so fill up in here. You got the head. There's a muscle right here. I like to keep that as part of the, the part of it. So I get up in here, and like Jeff said, you follow you follow your your knife down, right? You got to get there's like a little like a T-bone thing, like a got to get around right here, and I follow that down right like that, and you follow follow. You can feel the bones when you get to about here, past the gut. I'll flip it on its side as much as I can and stick the knife all the way through right out right out the bottom like that and then grab it and just just like this and just let the let the knife do all the work and follow that backbone all the way down cheater like that see and then from there you can work, work it off the rib cage and I'll take it and just try to Try to finesse it like Jeff was doing. Try to finesse it and uh, you feel, get down till you feel the rib cage, and you just follow the rib cage out like that. And like that. We both do it. They're lots younger than us. All right, come on. A little bit of trouble. There we go. Like that. Follow right there. And just look, there's just a the big old right you can hear like it's a big old just bones right there. So you get like that. And try not to cut the bone. Yeah, try not to cut the bone. <laughs> And I am having an issue getting around right here, what I typically don't have an issue with, but that's okay. All right, so get up like that, like that, and there it is. So that's a fillet. Let's try this other side. <laughs> Just leave it there. All right, this one's gonna be better, I swear. All right, here we go. All right, commentary, let's just do it. Take two. All right. And see if he does it better when he's not nervous. <laughs> well, truth be told, this is the first time I've ever done this on camera, so. It's always a lot different when it's like camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like I was saying on my on when Jeff is doing it, it's a lot harder to get it on this side. Just, just more difficult. But you can follow that right down the backbone a little bit. Once you get past the gut here, you can stick your knife all the way down like that. You see it popped out the end there. Mm -hmm. And then you can just let your wife. You just go straight down. Follow the backbone all the way down. Like that. Got you got the got the nice fillet. Not so bloody. Not so quite as bloody as yours. I'm pretty sure yours wasn't quite dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what would keep that away. Biting my finger before <laughs> it went under the knife, <laughs> or not? <laughs> All right. So here we go. And try. And I don't always follow this rule, but. Always try to, to cut away from yourself. You don't want to cut your Especially cut your with a blade knife. Yeah, it hurts like a mother. Well, that's a sharp knife. There you go. All right, that one worked better. There you go. That one worked better. Take two right. is a lot better than take one. Get rid of, it, rid of this. All right, now. Never have to get another one of those catfish yep. again. So, I use cut off, leave a little bit right there. Get it down to the skin. And use your fingernails, your thumbnail, get down in there. There we go. So you get to get started. Once you get it started, there you go. That's looking a lot better. Yeah. And just grab it. Grab it. You just, you just wiggle you just the skin back and forth, and it'll take it right off. So I got. There we go. Done. Then I have catfish fillet. There you go. So there, that's how I do it. So we got seven more to go. Yeah. And we will see you when we're done.
All right, so uh, we got inside here and they were pretty bloody. So we put them in some water for a minute and just trimming off some of the stuff that we missed because it was dark outside. But this is this, we, we rinsed them off and they may sit and we'll change the water two or three times maybe till it's relatively clear and then we'll dry them off and fry them up. Okay, so Jeff is uh, doing yes. his thing. We got some oil over there. Turn it on yet? Probably not. No, not yet. So he's uh, he's doing his basically large nuggets like I like to do. He's calling those his fillets, so that's cool. Yeah, I, it's like a chicken strip, not a nugget, like a chicken strip. All right, and we have got these guys. This guy, this uh, Louisiana seafood crispy fr <laughs> fish fry breading mix. Amazing stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Looks like the side of this thing. Put your hand next to that. That was a big old fillet. So he's doing uh, chicken strips, yeah, I think sense or uh, catfish strips. Yeah. That's how All you right. do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. And then you just beer batter, or you batter it and roll with it. Well, his is soaking in milk. I'm gonna. What are you doing? That's for my breading, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so... Brotherly love. Look at that. Mom told us to share. Thank you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, yours is definitely the biggest by far. Like, lengthwise, I had one that was pretty similar lengthwise. Oh, we didn't weigh these things. No, we didn't. But uh, his was definitely bigger, like, as far as fat-wise, like, thick. thick I mean, look, look how thick those steaks are. Put your, show me how thick those steaks is. That's a big knife, and it's having a hard... I mean, that's... Look at that, dude. That big hand. It is. It's thick. It's awesome. Hi, Mom. Alright, so fill it on up, like so. Yeah, it doesn't take much to fill this up. Yeah. That's it. Yep. And let it sit. Did you put a cover it? Nope. Alright, cool. Just let it sit for about half an hour. Oh, okay. And it cool. absorbs. You can put it in the fridge and do all the other whatever. Yeah. Don't care. <laughs> Alright, so this is how I do it. Um, it's wet, right? So uh, I'll usually dry it off. I'm going to dry it after I cut them up. So I cut them in a nugget. So what, you, what I like to do is cut them at an angle so that you get more crispy edges. So you cut them at an angle like this. You see that? This right here, this edge, is going to be all crispy and delicious. So I'll do it in about a year or so. It just takes money to do it. It really isn't all that different than what the about the size of you that you all are doing. Yeah. So yeah, I got the wrong side. So it's like that. And then yeah. anyway, so after I'm done, I'll dry them off. And they've got this oil heating up, so just have them dry with a paper towel. And then um, you don't need a lot of moisture on these things to get the batter the batter stick, so or the breading stick. So just pat them off. And then we'll We'll throw them in the. Open uh, this bad boy up here. Yep. How many followers you got? I have no, I have no, uh, <laughs> no fingernails. I've been biting my fingernails since I was old enough to have fingernails. It's good for bite. yours. Okay, so yeah, about a year or so. If and I need just, you, I'll uh, bring after it you pat over. it dry, is something like that. This is about all you need. Try to really. I like to try to push it in, like really work it in, get that seasoning, that uh, cornmeal and seasoning down into all the, as much of the cracks and crevices as I can. That so, grease is not hot yet. Oh, I know. If I put it in now, what's going to happen? <laughs> it's going to get all soggy, right? It's going to be all garbage. It's going to be garbage. So you got to wait for your heart your, 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 to have a nice shimmer on the top. That's when you can tell it's ready to go. I need to just take some water and go. That or, you know, another good tip is if you put the end of a wooden spoon in, the wooden spoon will start to bubble like you're frying something and then you don't have to worry about oil splatter and stuff. So, oh, I'll show you in a minute. Alright, so here's it's the frying on. This is our first batch. So, see how it's kind of nice and golden brown, crispy edges? Alright, Jeff. Jeff's starving. He's going to... What do you think? Amy. So, you pick out which one you want. The Amy Amy find. doesn't do fish at all. At all. So this yeah, is this is the first Germany's. time since I was nine years old. Wow.
Now that's what I'm talking about, right? Wow. Yeah? Not, not fishy. Not fishy at all, right? Not fishy. How's the texture? Oh, good. Wonderful. It's really light. Yeah? See? I don't believe you. Just gotta do it right, right? Let me try. <laughs> you don't believe you? <laughs> try it. You try one. All right, Don. All right, he didn't believe me. Yeah. Ooh, hi. All right. See? All right, so these are Jeff's. His are definitely, he's doing the, the batter like that with the egg wash. Look at that. That looks like a chicken strip. The one right there. Right? There. Yeah, that one's going to be mine. So I got that uh, 64 ounce uh, Mountain Dew kind of as a joke today. And not only did I finish the entire thing, this is my third or fourth can beyond that. Today has been a very interesting day. <laughs> I'm not going to feel too good tomorrow. But that's okay. Mountain Dew is delicious. Okay, moment of truth. This is Jeff's. Just a drop. It's a little saltier. No fishiness. Neither one of you guys have fishiness, and I hate fish. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of similar ingredients. Yeah, a lot of similar ingredients. A little bit of different preparation. But mine are obviously just thicker. That's why. Yeah, his, his is thicker, it. and he used an egg wash, so the batter's thicker. Yeah. You want me to tell you the truth? Yeah. Jeremy's is lighter, mm -hmm. lighter, um, in, in like lighter, yours is thicker. I say Jeremy's is, yours tastes for real is a little bit more like chicken versus Jeremy's tasting more like fish. Even um, though it wasn't fishy, it's just the texture. It, even so. though it wasn't fishy, it was just like, I would say, if I didn't, if you guys did not tell me that this was fish, I would think that this was more like a chicken. And I would definitely know that that was fish, but it wasn't fishy. And since I haven't eaten fish since I was between eight and nine years old, they're both really good. So it's an, it, it's, it's a toss up. Toss up. However, hey, However, if you guys did not tell me that I was eating fish because it's mind over matter, I would probably eat it. And so, no. naked and alone, you're good with the fish now? Yes. Okay. Sure. As long as it's catfish, deep fried catfish, right? As long as it's catfish and it's not like <laughs> salmon or fishy fish. That's the difference between your your guys' two. But I will finish Jeff's. All right. That's the most fish I've eaten since I was nine. Nice. All right, Jeff. So, you know, I'm thinking as far as Amy's go, that you might be the winner on that one. No, no, no. Because they're both good, but she said they're two she different loves. styles. They're two different styles, and they're it's just both delicious. Styles. So it's definitely a draw. All right. Yeah. I'll accept a tie. Okay. All right. So now I'm trying Jeff. Is a Zach. Zach is my son. He's amazing. Jeff is amazing too, but he's not named Zach. That's so one of the hot ones. This is the hot one. Yeah, right? that's fresh off the fresh oh, off the. I'll eat that one later because I already touched it. Alright, here we go. Mm. You know, I like the thicker batter. Mm. Alright, Jeff. I think I'm going to do an egg wash next time I do the, the, the catfish. Alright, well. Are you, uh, owe you a drink, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Uh, Jeff, I think you were the winner. It was no, good. No, it's good. There's a little. I, I, it's kind of. I don't know. There, there's. We're kind of a tie. I think it was better. So good job, Jeff. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.